skill progression. Okay, reflection, shadow quality, anti aliasing, V sync, borderless. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, I, I was able just to straight up cannibalize those things. Holy fuck. Nice. Okay. I will say, out of everything, I regret not making this a classal system, and I got to the point to where I don't want to change it up. That's kind of how I am with my system, kind of. I don't really... I could do classless, but at the same time... I just feel like class is just easier to balance. I feel... Yeah, but it's also more work, and that's why. That's the problem I notice with it. I mean, if I ever do make another edition of my system, I'll probably do that. I don't know, this dude just got fucking crashed into a lighthouse. We're gonna dredge. Let me fix the share screen. I'm really dredging it now. I guess, I, I guess I'll narrate this game. Fuck it. The morning light fills your eyes. You try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock as you collapsed the night before. Okay, this guy has some more true vibes to him. Look at, look at him. Got rope bombs. You want him? More true vibes. Look at the face. It's like rope or bombs. You want them? Anyway. Short right man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking the boat nearby. This man notices you. Welcome to the Great Morrow. Must say, quite a dramatic first impression. See, you already introduced yourself to the jacket of rocks along the coast. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well. Might have new fishermen up right and reap it. Your boat is absolutely fucked. <laughs> but I have a few of the locals move things into our old vessels. We'll catch up in the discussion later. I'll let you gather and catch some fish. Fill your cargo while you while you're getting your bearings in the light. Get back by sundown before the fog rolls and keep a close eye on time. It really creeps up on you. Okay, so I get the, um... Okay, so I have a little boat now. And apparently you dock by F. You know, this game kind of looks beautiful. From the looks of it. Okay, so this is how we start fishing, I guess. So it's apparently a blue mackerel. I have to play fucking fish Jenga with this game. Don't you just love it when you have to play fish Jenga? Ah, I can't fish that. That sucks.
You step on the dock of the Great Mara. Greater Mara, not the Great Mara, the Greater One. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see. You return in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, you should discuss matters of your boat. As I mentioned, your boat was badly damaged due to... And it, and it was too... And it was absolutely fucking screwed. I would be more happy to sell your replacement vessel yours to own. Okay, he's about to just Tom Nook me right now. This dude really do be Tom Nooking. I may understand you might not have the necessary funds at hand, so consider it alone. I want to make this easy for you. Until the debts for phase, time important in fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So basically, it's just saying, oh, you could sell stuff here, and we'll, I'll just, I'm just going to mooch off of you for the time being. Off you go, then. Sell the fish while it's still fresh. Uh, this man mongs. This man do be mong and fish. He looks so depressed. Like, he's, like, like he's, like, just sick of everyone's, like, crap, pretty much. I mean, he might be. Look at this man. This guy's got, like, the giga, like, like, vertical, like, fucking head going on. Like, it looks like his face is, like, twice the height as it was should be. You're in a new fisherman. Surprise, you found Squidward voice, bro. Dude, he looks so depressed, I might as well give him Squidward voice. Surprised I found one so fast. Not that hard to do square word, honestly. What happened to the other one? He takes a certain type of person to last out there. Not a, not a life for everyone. Anyway, the business, I'll pay for your fish bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more. <sighs> the problem is the way I have to do it is I have to like, cl I have to like it congests my nose just talking like that. However, towns of, on other islands might pay you differently, but while you still got the debt outstanding, I suggest you work on paying it off first. Let's see what you got. It's like a comedy. I'm, I'm like doing like a combination of Meat One and Squidward. Excellent work, I mean, that. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Here's a, here's a piece of garbage I found in the trash. Why don't you take it? I don't want it. Oh, and one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit and sell it and give us more of your money. We want more of your money. We want to put you in crippling, like, wage slavery, basically. Do you imagine, like, if someone gives you a boat, puts a small size of a loan on it, and then basically just wage thefts you the entire game? <laughs> like, Im imagine that being a fucking thing that happens. Just gets leech of, like, your funds for, like, the entire time you're playing. Sounds like every Animal Crossing game. It really is, honestly. I don't think I've ever played Animal Crossing and not had that be the fucking case. Animal Crossing is literally a game about wage slavery, prove me wrong. In pretty I think no, you know what's funny is the fact that like how you sell towns in that game. Where it sounds it almost seems like you're just sending them to the mines or something, you're just selling off everybody who lives there. But like straight up Animal Crossing is a game series about wage slavery. I do enjoy that Animal Crossing series though. Well, everyone does. Well, it's just funny to put like a dark undertone on it. <laughs> As you walk into the yard, you see a ship making repairs to a damage hole. She listens to you briefly before turning back to her work. Pursuit resolved. What am I pursuing? Not being broke? You must be the new fisherman. I can make a promise to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in business doing favors around here. Payment up front and everything. 
takes time some, some time to install. Also, if you take any damage on the rocks, it can patch them up mostly. And she just gestures at the holes. You attempted to repair the number of word boards and all that stuff. Well, I know what I'm getting first, and that is I'm getting more dredged material. Oh, she apparently sells some nets. Hmm. Hydro rod, oceanic. Wait, do I have to like unlock everything? Looks like I have to unlock everything. Just a hydraulic rod would be better. something glowing in there. Is that a message in a bottle? I'm not I'm not gonna read these. There's plenty, of, there's plenty of other things I gotta deal with on a regular basis here. See, disappointing. Okay, this dude has a look to him. This dude's on a grind set. <laughs> Bro, that jawline. He's got the Giga Chat jawline go. <laughs> This you can tell this man is dealing. He is wheeling and dealing. <laughs> you enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and upper baubles. This old man peers at your silver spectacles. Let's see. Hello? Is that no? I I don't believe we met. Right. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I'm used to looking at the garage room. You kind of have like the Decker Kane look going on. But without like the fucking like the Riz. And the drip. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. You got anything nice to that? Nope. Literally just here to waste your time. <laughs> um, I'll be right back one minute. I gotta go check my laundry. But um in a minute I'll be able to like continue this.
that. It took longer than expected. I do like the art style of this game, though. It is a nice looking game. I'll give it that. I guess the complication right now is I need to be able to fish um, some of the deeper fishes. I don't want to get anywhere. Be funny if there's like a pitch shifter with it and just fucking make it sound like it's like like having like a seizure or something with it. Like, wah, 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 wah. Ooh. Wait, I can catch sharks? Be badass catching sharks. Looks like someone had a wreckage here. I guess I'm just kind of exploring right now, just seeing what's around. There seem to be like a few interesting things here and there. Okay, there's got to be like a fit, like a set of fish that I can actually like harvest here. Like something that's like catchable. These eels. Nope, can't catch the Maori eels apparently. Oh, so, uh, I did update some other stuff, too, recently. Like what? Uh, I added in a couple new, uh, a couple new skill types into the game that, uh, people have requested. So you still have all your combat skill types, the short blade, the long blade, polearm, pugilism, archery, marksman, and evade. Still have all your magic skills, uh, but now, in the general spell, uh, in the general skill category, you have stealth, which was already there. Stealth, athletics, and ac stealth and athletics were already there. But now you also have uh, acrobatics, alchemy, and mysticism. The god acrobatics. The god acrobatics. So, yeah. Stuff is... So there is that. I ran a special oil coming from the customers. You can prevail and I'll pay the above normal prices. I'm just getting... I'm just getting more scuffed every time I hear it. Like, every time I hear myself do these, like, little shitty voices.
A hunch woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops a distance to look at you with concerned uh, appearance. Why are you here? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do the fucking one voice, the rasp voice from fucking SpongeBob with the chocolate lady. Why are they selling chocolate? Nah, that'll, that'll fucking destroy my throat if I do it. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. Turns out and discuss back to the light. Here's the person I'm hoping for. We selling out east and towards Little America. He's delivering this package too. Get a dock worker there, please. Mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in strength dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you for delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want to spoil. Is he just mailing fucking fish to people? <laughs> this this man is just mailing fish to people. Sounds about right. <laughs> what goblin behavior is this man going be partaking in? Your typical goblin -ness behavior. You know. Mm -hmm. Just common, just a common gaba ghoul. Just a common gaba ghoul. Nice. I have been studying more three D modeling stuff over the time, like just some methods that I could possibly use for later. And there's um, there's a decent amount of useful ones. Like I was trying to figure out ways to do like arrays or like deviations and stuff, like randomizations. You know, that makes stuff look nicer, in general. Hmm. Hmm. He's like, give me a book called Sustainable Fishing. This one thing my guys do it's anything but sustainable. You are the unsustained. They call him John Dredge. He's always on that dredge. There's a lot of mackerels in this area. Just annihilated that pool. Is that these flanders? Oh, too bad flanders. You're getting um you're getting fished. You're getting flipped up like nobody's business. What's that? You thought you were safe? Nope, think again, you're getting fished, Jane, good like the rest. Imagine threatening someone with, with fish Jenga. Yikes. If I'm being too unhinged for a moment, please let me know. Um, and I will proceed to continue. You're not being too unhinged. Trying to think of, like, funny things to say. I still think the concept, like... There, there had to be at some point someone literally deciding to play fucking Django Fish. Cause the, the, actually, no, you know, you know what it reminds me of? The fucking Salmonella video. 
I was like, is that fucking fish string? And it's like literally like the people are like trying to hide it, like it's like some like taboo thing. Yep. Like it's a forbidden art. I think more speed would be good. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Double the speed. Really, there's only like two of those in there. Black Rupers. Wow, this light actually is abysmal. It doesn't even like light up anything, it just it just barely does anything at all. I can't even carry more of those. Oh, neat. There's something going on here. Okay. Something has appeared to taint my um, fish. Oh, that's no good fun. Look at eels. Is that a finder or a grouper? Ah, it's more groupers. Mayor's walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood. Spring of the step. Fantastic news! It's the part that you're having the great virus growing. Our town is now seems to be swarming visitors every day. After I just gave you like 50 bucks. Literally because I've been dredging 50 bucks out of, out of nothing. In fact, I gave you consent to, to Sherpa to expand your facilities. The old dry dock is now operational again. And apparently there's just better services everywhere. Oh, 
Ah, so I finally got like the final upgrade of this game. Yeah, better of light is going to be kind of important. At some point. I don't know what it is, but it's just so fun to play around with like, the horn in this game. Uh, more shoe have you like um how's your game's been going actually i haven't ran one in a bit of time i'm guessing you're waiting for your update to be done yes yeah i kind of had that situation going on for a while as well i just kind of just started saying fuck it i'll just literally do it anyway well i I'm just saying that's just my situation with it. I'm a... I function in a very odd way. So... Mm-hmm. That's just me. Okay. Why, is there a tornado? Is it a human tornado? Nah, that would be cringe. For some reason, there's just a random tornado on the map. AOV, when your character sheet editing software selects over a thousand items. Because it is so horribly optimized. Like, I should you not, Greg, it is selecting thousands of items every time. Yeah, the, the, the boss software is not exactly the best. It is certainly... I mean, it's probably it's probably not the worst, but, like, still, it's just rough to use. It is, like... It's not so bad if you're not going super decorative, but I'm going super decorative. Because that's how I like my... I want my character sheets to look good. It was a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running around the ground on the reef. In a broad daylight, the ship I almost ran out of wood to repair him. Time to get fishing. Time to grime for crime. Okay, this light is not that bad. Actually, does a pretty good job keeping things uh, visible. The problem is I can't dredge yet. I can't get my dredge on yet. You can't get your dredge on yet. 
Game keeps withholding the dredge. God, why they gotta bust your balls over the dredge? <laughs> why do they gotta keep dredging me like this? You're ranging me. Oh god, I'm literally dredging. I think I can sell these to that guy. The Giga Chad Decker Kane guy. I can. I doesn't buy him for much, though. This mechanic in this game is pretty cool, though. You kind of like, um, you like actually obscures like certain rock formations so you can't see them and stuff. Unless you have like a light flashing on them. Morshu, when he sees a minor flaw with his character sheet, so he goes in and makes an entirely different one. You know what the worst thing is when you have stuff off by one pixel? Fucking hate it. The fact that you just said that actively makes me want to strangle you. And I think you understand why. Yes. Because um, every software is like that. Ah, now nah, this sort of special life about my day. He runs his finger along the length of the fish. Why? Why do? You, why is this man fondling the fish? Why? Why, why does this fishmonger have to fishmong my fish like this? Like, come on, game man, give it some privacy. Oh, and he finds like a handkerchief. Oh, so this is how you get the thing. Hmm. Okay, apparently, there's this one guy in the cabin window. A man looking at you in through a cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I wonder what voice I should give this man. I know what it takes for the fifth model. Not the clown, I know something that I saw from it. I knew you had struck it, and I heard. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I I just honestly felt like that. It's like it gave me the it gave me the tools to decide on that. And I was like, you know what? I'll just make it sound like he's incoherent. Those birds are really stealing my fish like that. Really doing my boat dirty like that and just stealing my fish. Not all 
all skulls and fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell them just by looking at the surface of them. As if they had some weird fucking thing going on. I'm just, I'm just having fun making, like, ridiculous voices for these. And adding the word fucking randomly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you make it original. <laughs> you just add it. You just add a fuck to it. How to make any original character add that just add that to it and you're good. Man standing in the doorway watching you approach. He's holding the old book in his hand. It's bound in crimson, crimson with silver ribbons. You came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Oh, it's artifacts, treasures, truths, curious, curious that occupy the first year of desire and the dankest of all memes. And you have something for me. Give me your memes. I've required them. Only the rarest of Pepe's. Hmm. I'm gonna make it so you can dredge, so you can get your dredge on. Reward you with the dankest of all meme powers. Such as the power to acquire, if you acquire these seven memes for me, I'll make your ship even more powerful. And I can now dredge. I know I, I know I like blew through that entire dialogue, but I just wanted to mess with it and just shit post on it pretty much entirely. Uh-huh. It's like, yeah, I know this is like a dialogue of that, like dump of objectives and stuff, and I'm like, nah. I don't, I don't care. I don't care what this man's talking about. I just want to goof off with it. By the way, um, Morsha, did you hear about the um, fact that someone in Gmod managed to basically um, make it so the game has like Metroid Prime mechanics in it, like perfectly? I did not hear about that now. It has it, it functions basically it does like perfect Metroid Prime One mechanics. That's wild. And it's like the power bomb, like all, all the power ups basically, I think, except for maybe like the um maybe not the supercharged versions of the beams, maybe. But everything else. You know what, I, I could do a cool idea with that actually. What if we had like a hunter versus hunted thing and just have like five people try to take down like a super buffed fucking guy with Metroid weapons and shit? Like Samus's kit pretty much, but with like like they have the whole thing unlocked, but they have like 10,000 HP and everyone else has to survive long enough for a certain amount of time or kill him. Huh. Kind of like an X say X um, style thing going on. That'd be fun. It's an idea. I need to get I need to get Gmod. Gmod's fun if you like to just do screw around stuff. Um I would never go on a server though on there. Oh no, that seems like a like a breeding ground for turbo versions. It really in and, and this day and age, yes. Maybe if it was like in the past or something, because um honestly it was kinda nice in the like a while back before all that, you know. But now, nah. Oh, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. It's just... It's just pure goblin energy with it now at this point. That's a shame. Yeah, because it did actually have some very fun things. Um, I used to play on a lot of like Australian servers and stuff because they actually were pretty nice. They were nice people. 
It's also probably because I wasn't screaming at them like a, like some 13 year old that just got a microphone for the first time in existence. Because I feel like that's what really pisses most people off on there. <laughs> I wonder why that would be. Fisherman, have you run into the photographer on your travel? She's docked a few days ago for supplies. I suggest she take some pictures of the town for a promotional purpose, but she doesn't seem too interested. She mentions heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Oh, there's not like a billion people trying to ask me questions, and I'm like... Got any fish for that order? Yep. This finger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Didn't think, didn't think you had it in you, right? Fish is a tall order. It's been me to talk to you about some new business venture I'm considering crab pots. We're gonna get some crabs. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out and see, pollute the ocean. And come back a day or two and you'll see all the trash in it. Might even get a crab or two. Okay, so he now sells um, those now. Fisherman, what is it? You look touch troubled. Is the fox starting to get to you? Completely normal around here. Nothing's worried about it. Good night's rest. Right as rain in the morning. I always find it weird. I feel like the the mayor's just trying to cope. Like he he's, he seems like he's just trying to cope with the fact that his entire archipelago that he lives on is is cursed beyond belief. And I love it when the software picks literally every line but the one that I wanted it to delete. Mm -hmm. I see plenty of strange things on top of the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know what's coming and I can't even trust my own eyes. Mm. And yep. Gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Hmm. Okay, so apparently she wants to just move to a new island. She needs lumber and scrap. Can you blame her, though, in all honesty? I mean, when you're dredging like this... When you live on a cursed archipelago, full of like where people where the one person you're talking about just can't shut up about going into dredge. Yeah, I'd probably shoot myself. Like, so, it's like the of like the, the the like Italian mechanico and Haga go Lu or something, or like with donka donks. Except instead, instead of, it's a fisherman talking about him dredging. Oh yeah, I love dredging. Like, I, I feel like the word dredging can be used as like a, um, in a window for some reason. It's just kind of funny to think of it that way. I love dredging. Do you like dredging? I indeed love the dredging. Hey, now, now I remember one thing, um, what was it? The, um... Wasn't like King of the Hill supposed to have a continuation at some point? I don't know, man. I hope not. I mean, I yeah, think, because it was I, it kind of ended off on a good note. I think they wanted to do one where it's Bobby. It's, it's a grown up character. Bobby or something. Yeah, but I don't I don't know how I feel about grown up Bobby. It's kind of a scuffed thing, yeah. It sounds like it will be like another young Sheldon situation, which big ba the big bong theorem wasn't even funny to begin with. You know, I've never properly watched that show for like a full episode at all. You really shouldn't. I've never seen a full episode of it. I've seen bits and pieces because my family watched it, but I never touched it. Yeah, good call. That show's assed. 
And I know there are like some mm -hmm. diehard. Uh, there's some diehard. So the closest thing to a yeah. a hot, a quote unquote, potential hot take of a show was probably Supernatural for me. I actually watched it start to finish. But like. But that was because, here. but then again, I was watching like Supernatural because I literally had how, nothing to watch. <laughs> how do I explain the Big Bong Theorem? Is it In just literally essence? the same thing over and over again? And nothing, uh, nothing matters. No, um, it's comedy. If that is it, just trying to like do a Seinfeld, but not do a Seinfeld. It, it kind of is like that, yeah. So it's like they try to do Seinfeld, but with quote-unquote nerd humor. Which doesn't work. Was, that wasn't funny at all and did not appeal to anyone. The problem with trying to do Seinfeld without doing Seinfeld is you have to... There, it's such a narrow area of it where you can't quite just, like... You can't just let it, like, sit like that. You have to, like, actually, like, do something unique with it. Because Seinfeld, at the time, was kind of, like, unique with it, the way it handled things. Yeah. It was certainly a thing. Seinfeld happened. And it was actually, think it's, it was decent. Yeah, I think that's the best way to really explain Seinfeld, is that it happened. Yeah. It existed. It was a TV show. People watched it. <laughs> and this episode of Seinfeld, Kramer commits, um, commits crime by destroying the universe. <laughs> But it's one of those shows where if you go back and watch today, you're just like, oh, okay. But yeah, because now you like you know what it's that that's what was the comedy at the time. It wasn't really like anything crazy. It's not. It's not as it's not as random as like some of the other stuff. It also is probably because like um, hold on, I have to carry this person with me. More sure. Wait, how, how should how should I carry this man? This this woman. Just just plop her in your inventory. <laughs> just put her upside down in the inventory. <laughs> you know, it's like how you had ten, uh, how Tandy was a tradable object in Fallout One. Yeah. You know, what? I'm just I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna fish and just put put everything around the person. To be fair, though, Tandy being a tradable object kind of made sense in Fallout 1 in the context of you bartering for her safety. Mm-hmm. But, you know. Fallout was one of the series that I understand what makes it good. I just don't... I just never really got truly into it. I love the first couple Fallout games. Like, I'm I saying... What, what I'm saying is that it was one of those cases where, like... I understand, like, I don't have a problem with the game itself. It's just how I, it's just not for me. Pretty much. What's going on here? Why is there, like, an eldritch energy coming from this pool? Uh, it's oceanic. It's oceanic pizza. Alright, well, let's just dock this person. So you were saying about Fallout? Um, it I love the first couple games in New Vegas. I don't really like Fallout 3 at all. I, in fact, think that game is actual dog ass. Mm -hmm. And this person just and, handed me all this trash. And people think I'm crazy for thinking that it's not a good game. And I'm like... But it's not. Any game that boils down a series themes to haha funny funny 50s music I don't know I, I, I don't think it's good mm -hmm. but perhaps I'm just retarded and don't know it you know I think the problem people have why is there a goblet there's a whole there's a whole ass goblet in this one place. There's, there's some, like, some like ancient like king hiding his goblets in the ocean over here. I really do not like Fallout 3 though. I think Fallout New Vegas is good. Because New Vegas took... was made by um, Obsidian and actually was kind of decent. Uh, the problem I also have with Fallout 3 is that armor is pretty much 
does fucking jack shit for you. True. And I get what they were going for. They were going for, like, that Fallout 1 style, like, damage resistance. What they forgot is that Fallout 1 also had damage threshold. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just resistance. So, yeah, Power Armor only had 45% damage resistance. But it also had straight up 12 damage threshold as well. So you had all that dam So you had 12 damage get. If it dealt under 12 damage, it didn't do anything. Plus, 12 damage would be taken off straight up on the value. It just it doesn't work without that. God damn, I gotta like think of what I'm gonna do here at this. Well, I get this, Greg. Combat armor gave you 20% damage resistance in Fallout 3. Fucking combat armor gives you only 20% damage resistance. Yeah. It's not good. Like, that is retarded. I always find armor to be kind of useless in, in every, like, Bethesda game, though. Like, if you... If you... is kind of weird with it, though, because... It's... Oh, it has to be fair. There, while there happen. is, while there is armor in Morrowind, said armor is literally no, like useless when, when in the face of um, a person drinking forty thousand stat potions. <laughs> and you have the equivalent of the cringe goblin appearing out of nowhere. There's only What's so much. Be... Sir, what's the problem? He's done it. There's a naked man going Mach 5 at us and beating up our old guards. Who gave Greg a... Who gave Greg bloat? Me. Go, go kill yourself. Okay. S sir, what do we do? Go run into that man and get punched to death by him. As he turns all your weapons into powder and your armor into dust. When you have enough strength from the uh, from the cracked out strength potions, I remember when I tried to get Top Hat to drink a fucking stand of a potion that it would um, fatigue him for six hours straight in real time. To be fair, I gave him a scroll of Icarian Flight, and he used it. How how likely did he die from it? Huh? Um, how likely? How did he actually perish from that, or no? Yes, he perished from it. I gave him one. I didn't want him figuring out that you could use two. You didn't want him to learn. That would ruin the joke. I did the same thing to Forteco as well. Mm-hmm. Because those motherfuckers do not read the fucking scroll. The scroll. The scrolls are there the way they are for a reason. If you... Even then, um, if you, even if they end, I'm pretty sure you can still land safely if you land higher than you were. Sometimes. You can land safely if it's higher or if it's in water. Pretty much. If you're not using more than one. Oh, but they didn't, they didn't build up any momentum, though, was their problem. So they just jump straight up and perish? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Um, let's get this, um, upgrade here. I think I have to get all these upgrades if I want to, like, do anything. And if that's the case, that's gonna kind of suck, because, um, I have too much metal. Although... I should probably start working towards something, maybe. speed of these 25 ah. why does everyone keep handing me books 
It's like every time... Like, do these people not know I do other things around here? Actually, can I talk to that one lady? You know, Greg, I don't think they know. I don't think they do know. Oh. I apparently can't talk to that one lady yet. It's not the way I want it. The lady has refused to speak with Greg. Yeah, I got treasure to sell anyway. Actually, I should probably get the buckle for that one person. Ram right into it and then park instantly. Hmm. This item's not cursed. Okay. I feel like any place that has, like, hexagonal stone spires in it is probably, like, some eldritch, like, location. Just by design. to wood. Ooh, that's kind of a massive fish. I can't I can only fit one of them. Kinda of, kinda of chonky. You just called the fish a honky? I said chonky. Oh I thought you called the fish a honky. That would have been funny. This could be a case where I, the guy's going to ask for a belt buckle. Man looks like he's just done with everything. Oh, I have to find him. Why is this? Why is this painter guy asking for cra strange crabs? He needs a malignant pincher and a cerebral crab. He needs a brain crab. There's something spooky going on here. A little bit of spookiness. Okay, this is just a squid filled with teeth. Mm. 
Don't you just hate it when your squid are full of teeth? I do. When you're trying to enjoy a nice night, and then you get all... And the teeth squid shows up, steals your free fitty, and re runs away. <laughs> runs away. Damn, my teeth squid. Oh, dang it, lock this monster. Can't have my tree ready. I can't have my tree ready. Damn that woman. <laughs> I still like my favorite bit and not from like South Park entirely. It's just this tree fitty thing. And he said, I'm gonna need about tree fitty. Actually, you know what? Let me look at my thing completely. My thing stuff. Is you know, my question is, why is the Loch Ness Monster so obsessed with three videos? I think it's because he's trying to scam them out of money every time. Hmm. At least that's what I think the whole gimmick of it was. And every time, he gets refuted a tree fitty. Imagine that being a problem in your community. <laughs> Having to deal with a Loch Ness monster demanding three three fifty. Yeah. Like, how's the neighborhood? Oh, it's it's great. We have one problem though. And that god dang Loch Ness monster. We got a Loch Ness monster. If he's gonna ask you for three fifty, don't give him no three fifty. Offense monster. You know, I've recently been watching fucking Bojack Horseman. I mean, that ain't too bad. No, it's that. I, I like it. Liking, I'm kind of liking it. It is a the bit depressing, that, though. <laughs> that's why I like it. Like, it may, it may be a depressing, like, show, but it's a good show. I like that it's depressing. It makes me happy. But, you know, I think it's supposed to be depressing, so... Well, yeah, that's kind of the whole point of it. It's like one of its premises. Ooh, that's a nasty-looking cod. I will say Bojack is unbearable, but he's that's supposed kind of the... to be unbearable. Well, yeah, he's meant to be like kind of like a narcissistic prick, basically. That apparently no one... throws out his own emotions on the others, pretty much in the worst way possible. And then wonders why people hate him. Mm-hmm. This water. Ugh. That one's got the oh, cancer. Okay. <laughs> fish has got the cancer. It's, it's all bubbly looking. That is something you do not want to hear from somebody about your fish. It's all bubbly looking. Yeah, that doesn't sound healthy. You know? Sir, you're, you're cancer fish, sir. Straight, oh, from, straight, from, straight from the Fukushima power plant. <laughs> oh, thank you, Reginald. Delightfully right. devilish, Seymour. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Oh, it's a family recipe. It's steamed ham. It's mutant eldritch fish. Seymour! Seymour, what in the devil's name is happening in your kitchen? Aurora Borealis? Aurora uh, Borealis. At this time of year, at this point of the country, entirely localized inside your kitchen. Oh, yes. that's right. Yes. Can I see it? No. <laughs> Seymour, the house is on fire. 
I don't really like Sims like modern Simpsons, but I do like some I do like the older. Oh, oh how I can't little... replace this one. How delightfully devilish you more. Yeah, unfortunately I cannot install any new things. I wonder if I can catch any accursed fish. POV, you're playing in Morshu system and then you're looking at the four skill trees that or the four skill tables that you have to look at. I just gave one of my um players a shotgun in my game. Like last session. Oh yeah, it is also possible now for players to get a shotgun and shoot flechette rounds out of them. Oh, you actually went through with that? Nice. I went through with it. <laughs> I'm sure your player's gonna have a lot of fun with that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, well, for sure. Or you know what? I'll oh, invest... pretty part. Investigation be like. When you investigate that investigation. When you don't have enough space for investigation, so you type in invest period. Investment. Yeah, yes, the investment skill. It's just where you. It's just a skill where you throw money at people. That's that's all you I, do. I, yeah, I used to have a barter skill, and then I just threw it under speech because I think barter didn't really need to exist. Just the bunger skill. Yeah, the bunger. Athletics, acrobatics. And then stealth. Okay, where's the good fish? No, that's not the fish I'm looking for. What's this mark mean? Oh, eel. I'm trying to find like those odds, whatever they're called. They only add a knight? Is that what it is? Like, you can only get them at, like, night or something? Perhaps. Ah, oh, never mind. They showed up. Now, the question is, can I do fish jingle with them? Okay, that one's definitely not it. Believe it or not, there is not as many things for... There's not as many uses for a personality in a tabletop as you might expect. Social skills are kind of hard to put into a game in general. I will say that much. Like, when it comes to, like, getting, like, a solid amount of, like, usability out of it, like, charisma is, like, one of the worst stats in a game to try to put in. And it's not like you can't get ignored either. Like, it has to kind of exist as well. But you can't, but it's impossible to make it the choice, pretty much, for people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's always a secondary choice. It's never a primary choice. Even if it's like a class is built around it, it's still never a primary choice. Oh my fucking god, I hate Endwa. Why does it say I have that many lines highlighted? I don't have any of those lines highlighted. Oh. Yeah, my in-boss is being retarded. Wayne washes uh, over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something has launched itself against the rock. I've gotten it, the meat hook. A brand new tool. 
in theaters near you. I wonder how good that item is, actually. It seems... I would not be surprised if the meat hooks are actually worth using. Ah, shallow. Can't use that. So what is this hook good at? Coastal and shallow. Alright, what's its speed though? 6% It's 38%, but it works on both. Increases um, aberration catching speed. I do like catching aberration. I mean, it kind of has a use. It's not a lot. Who's gonna call? Ghostbusters! I went outside. I went outside to protest the ghost in the city. I hold up a sign that says, Ghosts are shooting. Protest them, you shit your pants? Okay, my crab pot has to be done by now. Yeah, that crab pot was a scam. the last time I get a crab pot from a fish of bunger. Okay, so there's clearly something cursed here. Damn, son, that's a big ass key. That's a big old key. Right to engine operation. What's that do? Five Have you ever actually speed. just sat there and watched the music video for, or even listened for that fact to the song "What Does the Fox Say"? I, I I've never listened to anything truly mainstream, honestly. I don't know why that song was mainstream. It is probably the most retarded thing I've ever heard. Like, it's. Is it just because it just sounds like ADHD to music? No, no, it's it's a furry just screaming random noises. So it's somebody having a brain aneurysm. And when I call him a furry, like I call he's dre he has an entire crew dressed up in fursuits. I'm like, is that why this song blew up? I shit you not, he literally starts yelling how 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 in one part of the song for like 20 seconds straight. 
Yeah, it certainly sounds like it. I shit you not, that is a part of the song. I guess if I hand the guy the key, I'll probably get something neat to use. Okay, this crab pot is absolute garbo. Oh, it, it's garbo? It has yielded nothing. I left it out there for a day or two, and it yielded nothing. I was given it for free, and I've been scammed garbage. You just handed me trash. Oh, great Scott. I was beginning to wonder if anyone would take that off my hands. You ended... You enter the collector's house, he stands there at the back room, still holding a silver book. Well, you have something, don't you? So me. You hand him the key, the cold metal shimmers with a strange shine as he holds it. Shave the key, it's teeth. The teeth, the head, and somehow has changed. As if it's always been that way. Is that all? Where's the clock? Like the girl's agitated. Seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I expected. Much further than I expected. He's allowed me to aim through travels. Plus a few pages from his book and letters something on his breath, and now you have gonorrhea. Congratulations. <laughs> My intuition tells me that you may have carried some debris in a, to the southeast towards the Gale Cliffs. Make sure that's your priority. I'll mark it in the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Alright. I want to call it here because it's getting kind of late. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I've already exhausted my voice a little bit from like my session today. Yeah. Uh, there's only two game modes. I thought there was like hard mode, hard mode dredging, like literally just <laughs> have to deal with like the giga dredge difficulty. It's just ultra dredge. Anyway, um, I'm going to save for now. No, no, man. Okay. Yeah, that's enough of this for now. I'm going to close the stream for now. Call it a day.